right, Rosie, we're gonna go to a great new cartoon called Vortex. <laughs> Personal problems are ruining me, Miranda. While you're busy getting your third ticket this month, I've got fares waiting all over town. Welcome to me, Vida Loca, my crazy life. Where are you heading? You sure you're up to a fare just now? Anything would beat another call from Motormouth. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> you were supposed to. Take the next left. I'll direct you. Oh, someone got to her first. Probably a legit customer, but... But we'll dog her just to make sure. Transmitting GPS data now. You know, Ms. Ortiz, uh, I represent an executive recruitment firm. A corporate headhunter? We specialize in unusual opportunities for unusual people. Ah, oh, like a dead broke cabbie with one too many moving violations, right? You do strike me as someone ready for something new. That's the understatement of the year. Turn right into the alley. <laughs> what is this? Something I hope to introduce later. But we may as well cut to the chase. Cut and run is more like it. Too. You're kidding, right? You really think I'm worse than that? If you want it done right, you gotta do it yourself. I'll let you know. Now try! Are you with the good guys or the bad guys? Me? I'm so good, I'm bad. I had to ask. It's not my birthday, so you can't be taking me to some estupido surprise party. And you're too irritating to be one of those, those... Cyborgs? Right. So for the last time, what is going on? Sorry, babe, but, um... Shepard's the one you need to talk to. And you're gonna be Carnepero if you don't stop calling me babe. 
Hmm? Dog meat. Whatever you say. What was that you were saying, babe? Uh, uh, Ms. Ortiz? Hi, honey. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. <laughs> I know. I know, it's too much a guy sort of place, but we like it. Oh, pay no never mind to Rick. He's a movie stuntman who's taken one high fall too many. At last, somebody who makes sense. Jeremy McMasters. Everybody calls me Mac. Meet Miranda Ortiz. So are you the man with the answers? Like, how is it that you know my name? You never been in my cab. I'd have remembered. Oops, late for the next gig. See ya. All your questions will be answered. I promise. For now, how about the five dollar too? Ah, as long as I'm here, why not? Okay, I'm impressed. But this place is obviously top secret. So what am I doing here? Your fair was a member of a secret group of cyborgs. They call themselves the Biomex. We call them the enemy. They're humans who have infected themselves with a virulent form of living wetware, known as the Matrix. Because of this infection, they can only hold their human form for short periods of time. Oh, like, like when that, that woman first got into my cab. Yeah, exactly. But why? Why do that to themselves? Power. Thanks to the Matrix, they can meld with vehicles, computers, any technology known to man. All the Matrix wants in return is their souls. Oh, man. That cab is further gone than I thought. A wildfire fueled by a gale couldn't have torched any worse. Where's our cabbie? Getting the Vortec 411 from Hudson? Well, we've all been there. I hope Hudson knows what he's doing. She could blow our cover. Big time. Don't sweat it, Slick. That gal's got a lot of spunk. I expect she'll do the right thing. One miserable organic and you couldn't bring her in? That is pathetic. <laughs> pathetic hardfire? <laughs> Isn't that your middle name? <laughs> You know what Damien always says. And what, hard fire, is that? Our struggle is not about ego or personal glory. It is about serving the Matrix. Which at the moment means preventing Vortec from adding another member to their team. And to turn her back to her true purpose. Selfless service to the Matrix. Find her. Bring her to me. Now. You act as if you know all about me. Well, we know you loved flying, and that you were one of the best. Old news, Rourke. What do you want now? Join us, Miranda. You'll be flying again, and for a good cause. To fight those freaks, you need Superman, which I am definitely not. And neither are the Vortex. Even though Rick's fallen off a high building or two, he's never jumped over anything in a single bound. Tate's day job is protecting the forest. Brad, he handles a news camera. And Max, a super mechanic, but nothing more, I assure you. All ordinary people facing an extraordinary challenge. What's special about them is their character. Same as you. My special character? Is that why the Biomechs were after me? They found out I was on your recruiting list? I'm sorry, Miranda. We, we were careless. Careless doesn't cut it. Thanks for destroying what little life I had left. It was the least we could do, considering. Thanks, Mac. Now stay out of my life! 
please. Miranda, be careful. The Biomex tried to pull you in once. I'll try it again. And I'll tell them the same thing I told you. Not interested. Did you have enough time? Barely. We've thrown her the gauntlet. Now all she has to do is pick it up. Still working. We've got them nailed. <laughs> it's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Miss Ortiz. Wish I could say the same. Hudson told me about you and your plans. Ah, uh, Hudson. We never did see eye to eye, even when we were children. He didn't tell you. We're brothers. <laughs> Seems there's a lot your brother didn't tell me. We, of course, knew you'd be bugged. But did you? Vortec alert! on stunt jet, just in case. Five seconds to launch. Two, one. Vortec, rendezvous is Highway 17, two Ks past Basewell Springs. My brother's paranoia aside, this is not about world conquest. Oh, you're going to save humanity, right? We can save you, Miranda. Oh, yes. Thanks to Hudson's research, we know all about you. How you refused to bomb that village. They said it was a terrorist base. But it wasn't. Only women and children lived there. The truth never came out, did it? And you lost. Everything. Career, friends, family. We can end your pain, Miranda. 
Because with the Matrix, there is no pain. No hate, no greed, no useless passion at all. Only a single transcendent purpose. To serve the Matrix. Join us, Miranda. Become one with the Matrix. You will not regret it. Oh no! Vortex! It's showtime, folks! Now, aren't you sorry you didn't listen to me in the first place? Destroy their vehicles, but save the humans for the Matrix. Let's do it! in the Matrix. Maybe not you, but as for me... Arr! You can't escape, Miranda! The Matrix wants you! Arr! I hope you have something for me besides good advice, amigo. Look behind your seat. And make your choice. like a control module for a jet fighter. Modified to your neural patterns, the helmet will transform your thoughts into control impulses, and the airplane of your dreams is all yours. <laughs> hey, if that's all it takes, it's off to the wild blue for me. Not so fast, Organic. You have unfinished business with the Matrix! Uh, let me think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Second thoughts about teaming up with us? Well, that depends. Uh, what's my code name? Hmm. How about Firefly? <laughs> you got yourself a new Vortex. Welcome to Vortex, babe. I heard that. 